Hey, how's it going? Diamond here. Today, we're going to be taking a look into Block Party YMA. Honestly, I don't do enough minigame plugins, and when I do find one, it has to wow me at the beginning. And this one really did wow me. Block Party is a very straightforward game where you have a countdown and a block in your hand stating which block you should stand up on top of. If you do not stand on that block within the time frame, then, well, you fall. Simple as that. And with this plugin, you can do that and more. With power-ups, active and supported developer, fully customizable, friendly interactive, GUI and commands, 3D floor supports, a leaderboard system, and three options of how your players can listen to the music with block note api mc jukebox or open audio in this video of course we will be using no block api but i'm just stating that you can support the other three options with open audio being able to play actual music instead of just minecraft no blocks there is also a full dedicated wiki page so if you guys want to check that out regardless the config and setup is extremely easy and i'm going to show you guys how to set up your very own right now so let's check that out here we do have our arena it's pretty straightforward with a a dance floor in the middle this does not have to be set up like this at all you can set it up however you want to but to get started we will have to create our arena so we can do slash bp and then create and we're gonna name it whatever name we want for this one i'll name it ted we have created our arena now we can do bp ted which is our arena name and that will show up with this very clean ui for it we have our arena name we have our exit lobby dance floor zone arena zone and add sign these are all things we need to add and we can even add our own custom dance floor i will try to explain that more later down the line it is supported with running just commands as well but to get started what we will do is set up our dance floor all we need to do is go into bp ted and then click on on dance floor zone it will give you a stick you can right click go diagonally across which would look like this and just left click it the item will disappear and we have set that up now what we need to do is set up our arena zone this is after the player walks out this is where they will essentially be kicked out of the game i'm just gonna go a couple blocks down below and i will do up one with world edit i will do bb ted i will click arena zone right click that and break that block because it's no longer going to be needed i'll go diagonally cross again and i will make a zone end up here as well just so spectators have enough room to roam around as they will be limited into that one zone so i'll do up one again and just right click and that's the arena setup it's really that easy i'll come up here i will set up a spawn point so for that i'll do bp ted and here i will do a exit spawn i will go across all the way over here and i will do a lobby spawn for it so as soon as you join the game this is where you're gonna be spawned in now we have that set up i'll actually just remove some of these i'll get a sign place that there and what we can do now is bp ted and we can just click on add sign whatever sign you're looking at that's what it's going to place currently it states that it's zero out of eight players but what i'll do is go into configuration and change it so it only needs one player to join and with that now i just have one lasting do bp ted and i can just come over here to the paper and click finish i'll go into the menu one last time and here you can see where you can change the provider such as note block or we can go to the next one which is mc juice box which i do not have installed or in other cases open audio which is very similar to what the hive used to do where you could listen to actual music and play at the same time while it was open in your web browser so if you want to try that out it has full support for it but i'll just stick with no block and we do have the song type setting so i can set it to random or i can allow players to choose i will set it up for choose so i can show you that in the menu and then we just have the add custom dance for which i'll show you later after that we are done we clicked finish and we can right click this and get started but hey, while the game loads, make sure to check out Revive Node in the description down below. You can get your very own Minecraft server using the promo code DIAMOND and get 15% off today. I use them, I recommend them, and they have a full dedicated team ready to help you on whatever you need with an easy file manager and console set up perfectly for you. So make sure to check them out in the description down below. All right, and we started. So we have, it just states block party prepare to dance. It will tell you the timer here. And I have to stick on yellow first. You can actually put it on the ground and see if it's close. You can see the timer here is going lower and I can also disable players if I want to. After that, it will remove every single block and just hope that you're standing on the correct one. The dance floor changes and it is extremely loud for me. Now I have to find like gray and I believe it's this one. Terracotta can be weird, but you can set it up super quickly just like that and get rolling and letting your players have fun with this game. Just like that, you'd see, you'd see um, there was a beacon in front of me that is what's called as a power up. It will give you a random power up. It could be both good and bad at the same time. That one was a bad one where it teleported me randomly to anything. 
Well, and within the zone. It's going to speed up every round and get faster and faster. And you can change all these settings within the config. And here's another power up. Let's go ahead and just walk into it. And I got slow falling. I feel like if I had a jump, it would be a little bit better. Oh, forgot about it. On the right, you can see the amount of people playing. So currently one, which is called dancers. I really like that. The round number and the round speed. So it can get lower and lower as we play. There was also a very nice animation that you could see in the background, which it was... Oh, I really need to focus more when playing. Once you do lose, though, you don't get kicked out of the game. It just sets you up if you want to play again into another match. And this is the feature I was talking about. I really love this where it'll change it from daytime all the way to nighttime as it progresses into loading up the game. It's telling you it's nighttime and it's time to dance. Here you do have the song selector so I can choose random or real thing, which is probably just the same one. And we can disable the players if we don't want to see them in game or we can enable them. And then we can have this item right here as well, which we can use to leave. There is eight seconds left and it's almost reaching nighttime. And just like that, it is also again, 12 time to dance. So as you can see here, it does actually get lower because it was at nine seconds at one point, but now it's back to 10. I just need to find the correct block and hope I don't lose this. You can set the amount of rounds as well that it will go to. Currently it's set to 13 and you can increase that or lower it however you want to. But yeah, I'm definitely not good at this game. While I'm in the menu, you could always just do BP force start and then I'll just start the game immediately as well. And and while we're just here waiting, I will like to state that this also supports parties, which is a plugin that allows you to party up friends and join within this game mode. Oh, and I forgot. So this plugin is providing you a lot. And honestly, it's amazing. I really recommend it. The developer has been super kind and supportive. He's super active in the community, which is always important when you're going to find a perfect plugin for your server. This is a great way to do events in your, in your server as well, especially if you're just running an SMP and you want players to join in an events quick like this, where it won't affect them and they can get some great prizes afterwards. And here's another power up. Don't, oh, I have night vision. Okay. They, they both look like pink and yeah, none of them were pink. What the heck? I think I stated pretty easily that I'm bad at this game. I'm just going to blame it on shaders, but yeah, let's go ahead and leave this game. All right. So one thing I'm going to show you guys is just custom dance floors. And essentially this is just saving it and we can add it into a certain game. I do, however, recommend setting this up for around the same size as the actual floor that you're currently using. So it doesn't feel odd at all. For this, I guess I'll just use some white ones and I'll just try to make a quick, easy design. All we need to do is BP custom dance floor create and then the arena name. And then we're just going to give it a name, which is smile. It will give us the item in our inventory. And all we need to do again is the same process. Again, this does support 3D design, so it could go above or under. And now just like that, we created it. Now we can go back and to do BP Ted. We can what we can do is just click add custom dance floor and we'll just add smile. And that's it. We've added it. It's super simple like that and you can add your very own unique design. Say you wanted to add your own server logo into it, it's that easy. All right, let's check out the config. We do have quite a few options that we can change. In the config YML, you can change the prefix and, and aliases that it supports. We have the language and leaderboard files, and then we have songs and custom floors. However, the most important thing is arenas. Here you can change every single thing within your arena. I am not going to be explaining every single setting because I don't need to. The developer took his time and put an amazing effort into every single option that this plugin allows you to change. So for example, is the party ready to be played? Finished, true. This is only of course stating for the arena Ted. It would be the same process for every arena. And then we have change time. What does that mean? Only in the waiting room, the time of day is going to change depending on the wait lobby timer. So I could go down to every single option for you guys, but that'll be very unnecessary for me. And, and I'm just gonna highlight one or two very important things that I saw. For example, if we do max, we can look that up. And here we have max milliseconds per tick to generate arena floor. If you have a much larger community and you need a much larger floor, if your server can handle it, you can increase that or, dec or decrease it. Of course, the maximum is 50 as stated right here. And that will allow it to generate the blocks faster for the server. Again, you have the server for it and if it's needed. By default, I did not have to change anything and it worked perfectly fine. However, we're going to scroll down into the game options. So right here we have game. We can enable and disable collisions, which does sound super important as somebody could just knock you off the edge if you want to make it a competitive. We have when the power-ups can enable. And the most important part is what do your players receive at the end of the game? 
and it's right here. At this command will be executed at the end of each game. So all your players can enjoy a nice little reward. Give a player an iron ingot, give winners a diamond, and give losers stone. Regular players can just receive iron, losers will receive stone, and winners will receive a diamond. Sounds like an absolute win to me. So change is necessary and, and match it. And the last thing is you can change all the type of locks that will be on the dance floor. So you can change it right here easily. But again, change it as needed and make it match your server. But yeah, that's the entire video right there. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, make sure to leave a like down below. It really helps out the channel. And other than that, make sure to give this developer some love for creating a such a nice, clean plugin that's easy to set up within minutes. Other than that, I'm Diamond. I hope you guys have an amazing day and, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.